US 2020 RTP is part of a national network with an ultimate goal of increasing the amount of STEM mentors who are going into classrooms and after school clubs and engaging youth in ways that they haven't been engaged before. The day before we got talc and flour. I'm the executive director for the North Carolina Science Olympiad program and it's my job to help um, all of our regional directors and coaches get our kids ready for STEM competitions that happen in the spring. To get back into a classroom and to mentor those kids for a couple of weeks and remember why it is, to really remember why it is I do what I do was a great it's a great kind of thing to start the season for me. Today, we've got a bunch of different things going on. Just ignore the paper roller coasters for now. Connects. Today is going to be your last day doing the, doing the ramps, OK? So we'll put Connects. It is the teacher's there. job to handle classroom management and be the disciplinarian and make sure that kids are on task and going where they're supposed to be. It's the mentor's job to sit down with a small group of those kids and really dive into something deep and help them help them figure out what to do with the information and what they're seeing and what they're learning. So, what do you think? So this one to me does not look as white as something like a salt. Yeah, it looks white. Don't, don't you think it maybe has a little more off-white? So no matter how passionate a teacher is, it is very hard to give one-on-one -on -one attention to all those kids at the same time who all need it. And so having some mentors come in and help with that process means that now you've got one or two or three adults in the room who can all sit down, work with individual groups, and help all those kids go to the level they're trying to get to and the potential that they have. People who are not classroom teachers are often hesitant to walk into what can be kind of chaotic and worrying about what to do whenever there's 30 kids in the room and they all want to do something different. But that's not your job as a mentor. Your job is to be the pasta tower expert or your job is to sit down and help them figure out which website is a good website for resources. How do I organize? Now I've got all this information. How do I even organize it? Those aren't even science skills. Those are life skills. There are moments of discovery that you can see on their faces and when you allow them time to fiddle and play and try and just see what happens when I, without giving them such a structured environment that they're following a recipe or they're memorizing facts, that's when the aha moments happen, that's when you see the light bulbs come on, that's when the, their eyes light up and they, they've made that connection and that's the, whole, that's the whole point, that's what we're trying to get them to do. We all forget we're good at what we do as professionals or we're working on being better at what we do. But there was a time when we didn't know anything about our fields and that's where a lot of these kids are. The exposure is great, but you know, the confidence is key. It's got to be a vertical climb in terms of having that confidence to go to community college when nobody else in the neighborhood is, to join a science club when it's only boys. We want to see female students, students from low-income backgrounds, underrepresented minorities in the STEM fields. We want to see those students get this exposure so that they might be drawn to one of these STEM fields. For each kid that we do touch, it's not going to be a passing fad. It's not going to be something that is quickly forgotten. It's going to be something that they really walk away with and are authentically inspired to want to learn more.